Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84. Thank you for coming back and joining me on another video right here on the channel. So across the past couple of days I've been putting out videos where I've been asking the question, how would a player from the championship fare if we signed them to the two elite teams in the Premier League, both Manchester City and Liverpool? We're going to run a single season sim with another player today. Recently we've done players like Brereton Diaz, Alexander Mitrovic. And we're just trying to find out whether they could cut it at the top level in both of these teams. Today we're going to have another player who is in the Championship. who started to court the attention of some of the bigger clubs in the Premier League. Uh, before I reveal who he is though, if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button, please don't forget to do that on this video. Every interaction helps the channel so, so much. If you are one of those people though, today's player is going to be Keen Lewis Potter. He starts the game. At Hall City, we're going to take him, put him in a single season sim at both Liverpool and Manchester City and see how he progresses in the first season. Another player I know who is young, so probably needs more time to develop, but I still find it intriguing to see what would happen if one of these two teams were to sign him right now and plug him straight in. So we're going to introduce the player first, we're then going to put him at Liverpool and then at Manchester City and we're going to see how he performs at both of these teams. We have jumped inside our Football Manager 2022 then and here is Keen Lewis Potter. He starts the game off as an attacking midfielder, right or left midfielder, right or left at Hall City. He's 20 years old, so again, another younger player. But in real life, he has had a brilliant season. And reading through some of his backstory, the amount of goals he scored at amateur level and before he got into the Hall first team is just phenomenal. Considering he is a winger, some of the stats that you read are just brilliant. But looking at his stats in game, you can see that he is actually set up to become a decent footballer. In terms of his technicals, he has pretty much a decent block to build off. 13s in crossing, dribbling, uh, long shots, heading, passing and penalty taking. He has a 14 there for finishing. So that's the reason why he's been scoring all these goals. Uh, in terms of his mentors, good anticipation composure 17 for determination which is always a good thing off the ball of 12 vision of 13 work rate of 14 in terms of physicals another good block of yellow stats there to build upon pace 13 which is decent acceleration is 13 which is also decent agility is 13 balance is 13 so lots of things there it makes him like a rough diamond that if you put into one of these teams hopefully they're going to polish up and he will become a bit of a baller uh, looking at his career stats then, so he broke into the Hall team in 17-18, has been out on loan at Bradford Park Avenue in the Vanarama North, played four games there, but it's back at Hall that he has started to make his name. 21 appearances and two goals in 1920, 43 appearances, 13 goals in 2021. And reading a few reports about him, there are some Premier League clubs sniffing around and I think they're looking to get themselves a bit of a bargain. So that's the player. The premise is simple. We're going to put him straight into Liverpool first and then Manchester City do a single season sim and see how he performs if he was to be taken straight and put into the elite teams in the Premier League. So jumping into a save, a brand new save that we started off with Liverpool, we went and bought Keane Lewis Potter to Liverpool to have a one season sim. Looking at him then, he's now 21 years old. And you can see that his stats have started to improve quite a lot. So everything on the left-hand side that has an uptick is crossing, finishing, first touch, heading, marking, uh, technique. In terms of the mentors, his anticipation's improved, concentration, leadership, off the ball, positioning and vision. Working around bigger players, he's obviously developing the player. And then his physicals, he has good balance. Natural fitness, pace is up to 15 and stamina is up to 14. So he has some decent improvement there. Um, we've been playing him out on this left wing because he is a stronger right footy player than left. We use an IF. So we have had him cutting in from the left onto his right foot. If we go to history, career stats, you can see that he has had a good season for Liverpool. 38 games in the season, 12 goals, 7 assists and a 6.93 average rating. Across the season though, 58 games, 15 goals, one of those was a penalty, 9 assists and a 6.87 average rating. So considering Hull were in League 1 the previous season, 
2021, and he played 43 and 13. He has played 38 Premier League games and scored 12 goals with seven assists. So that is an impressive start to his Liverpool career. In terms of the tactic, like I said, here he is out on this left wing here, cutting to the inside using his right foot, and that seems to suit him well. In terms of competitions, he has won the Premier League with Liverpool. They have won the league by two points from Chelsea. Let's have a little look at the stats. Did any of the Liverpool players get in? No, not in terms of goals. Average rating, three Liverpool players, Trent, Robertson and Van Dijk. In terms of assists, you got Trent and Robertson, 14 and 13. So no surprise there. The two wing backs are the assist kings still. Uh, Alisson, clean sheets with 20. So despite not being on the uh, player stats chart, he is a Premier League winner with Liverpool. Looking at the Champions League, they were knocked out in the semi-finals by PSG. In the FA Cup, they were knocked out in the fourth round by Tottenham Hotspur. But in the Carabao Cup, they went on to win the competition. So he won a double in his first season at Liverpool, which is pretty impressive. Uh, looking at stats down there, in terms of assists, he's not on that list. He's not on the list for the Carabao Cup either. So in terms of an overall season, he has had a good season to start him off. Like I said, this is a player at the age of 20 when he signs 21 by this point. He has lots of room for improvement and playing with better players, you can see, has started to bring the best out in Keane Lewis Potter. I think that's a successful first season. We're going to jump into the Manchester City side of this experiment now and see can he have the same amount of success at Man City. OK, so once again, we have loaded up a brand new save. And in this save, once again, we have moved King Lewis Potter from Hall City to Manchester City. Uh, looking at him now, he is a 21 year old who is capped at under 20 level for England. Looking at his stats again, another massive round of improvement with improvement in the technicals in corners, crossing, first touch, long shots, passing, tackling and technique. Some improvement in the mentors, too with anticipation, concentration, decisions, off the ball positioning. Vision has gone up quite a lot to 14. Work rate is up too. And in the physicals, agility, natural fitness, pace is 14, stamina is 14. He has improved a whole heap by playing for Manchester City. Right then, that is in terms of his stats here. What in, did he do in terms of his career stats for the single season? So a £9 million move to Manchester City, bought about 38 appearances, seven goals, Three assists, two player of the matches, and a 6.74 average rating in the Premier League. In terms of the overall for the season, 61 games, 10 goals, two player of the matches, six assists, and a 6.72 average rating. So again, another decent season coming straight out of the Championship into a Premier League team and then going on and having a good season. 38-7 and seven is a decent return. It probably should be better, but again, you have to take into consideration his age. And the fact that he is going to be progressing across his entire career at Manchester City. Looking at the competitions tab then, you can see Manchester City failed to win the league. So he doesn't win the league with Man City. Uh, they lost out by some margin, 13 points in the end to Liverpool. In terms of the Champions League, um, they finished runners-up in that. Who did they finish runners-up to? Was it Liverpool by any chance? Bayern Munich on penalties. So he was... Very close to winning that competition. They were knocked out in the fifth round by Leicester in the FA Cup. And they won the Carabao Cup. So a season where he has won a Carabao Cup with Manchester City. is Probably a bit of a disappointment. Very close to winning the Champions League too. But again, he is a player that has plenty of development ahead of him. Again, using him off of this left wing. Cutting inside onto his right foot. Because that seems to suit him. And I think he's a player looking at him. Has plenty of room for improvement and he could go on to great things at Manchester City. So let me know what you think of Keane Lewis Potter across both the Liverpool and the Manchester City sections of this experiment. Tell me in the comment section down below how you think he got on. Did he do well? Could he have done better? Leave it all in the comments down below. So that is Keane Lewis Potter, a young sensation who has come through the ranks at Hull City. Uh, we took him, we moved him to Liverpool, to Manchester City, and I think he did reasonably well for a young player. I think he has plenty of room for growing. And for the money that you pay for these young English players, I think that that could turn into a bit of a bargain further down the line once he has a lot more development. Which do you think 
came out the best? Did he do well at Liverpool? Did he do well at Man City? Or has he done well at both? Let me know in the comments section down below. But for this video, I'm going to start wrapping it up there. Before I go, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, please do so. This helps the channel so, so much. Just past 1,400 subscribers. We're on the path to 1,500. If you can help out, I appreciate it so, so much. But for this one, that's a wrap. I'll catch you on the next one.